On today's show, one-of-a-kind canoes built by hand. A dream that started long ago with one old lonely boat. Then we head in the garage to see how Raju Lamachane proved that one man's trash can become another's fine art. Plus, we pay a visit to a small business making a big splash in the fishing world. Once you meet the s and sisters, you won't forget them. People are passionate about outdoor equipment. Get this. Americans spend more than $20 billion a year on gear. But no one ever really sees how their stuff gets made. Well, that's where we come in. Each week, we throw open the factory doors and give you a behind the scenes look at how your favorite gear is made. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Borderview Lodge. The sensation of paddle cutting through water. Absolute exhilaration to those who know. I've been lucky enough to have a paddle partner now for 30, 38 years. <laughs> Just being together with with Steve. It's a good connection that other, you know, spouses don't have. Amy and Steve Zapp vowed long ago to make this silent sport a lifestyle and their life choice. And that's a BWCA cruiser. One next to it's a solo canoe. The one behind you is a redwood canoe that Steve and I had made back in... 1985. Yep, these two built a boat after they met. We met at a Boy Scout camp. That's when I started canoeing. Kind of an initiation uh, interview process. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Steve and Amy had a knack for woodwork. I never worked with wood before I met Steve. The roots of all of it born from Steve's father. This is a popular science magazine article. My dad found this article and he, this is how he learned how to build canoes. Mike Zapp built his first boat way back when. Yeah, dad started in 67 and I was quite young, like four or five. And just, I, I grew up in that process of everybody in the family building one. That original canoe still sits idly out back of the house. The family thing was really our, our story. All Zap kids built a boat with Dad. Come on in. <laughs> Steve never stopped. He and Amy now handcraft Zap custom canoes full time. From start to finish, it can take anywhere from two to two and a half months. Every one is different outside of one small detail. This is a very unique saw. Steve cuts tiny pieces, the intricate signature of all Zap canoes. Curious patterns that run down the sides of every boat. That'll make the zigzag. The pieces of design measured by the bucket uh, load. For a 10 foot canoe, it takes 240. <laughs> this takes 10 working fingers. Yeah, I have all 10. <laughs> I never thought in a million years that I would enjoy working with wooden canoes. Just to get the smoothness there, I enjoy it immensely. Building boats eventually led these two to brainstorm. It's pretty easy because um, we understand each other. An idea that would shrink their canoes but expand the business. Hang tight. This is our, one of our storage facilities. <laughs> the Zaps will show you next. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Borderview Lodge, Ice Castle Fish Houses, Aquarius Home Services, Car Arms, and by Keystone Light. Keystone Light, always smooth, celebrate responsibly.
Steve and Amy Zapp created their canoe company by hand. All the strips get attached to this at the ends of the canoes. The work of two people with passion for working wood. It's centered. The art of custom built canoes, a path created long ago by Steve's dad. He, he is really paying homage with how much love that he has for his dad, even though he's not here anymore. Um, that's why he uses certain tools from Mike still to this day. Yes, and I can pick him up every day. Tools aside, Steve and Amy use simple means to build. We don't steam them. I just stick them in our bathtub in hot water. What do we want to do here? Hand-picked strips become each boat's skin. This is cedar. Here we go. Yeah, we've got two strips here that will work. Um, these have a more color to them. Slowly, every addition reveals what the canoe might eventually look like. That's good. I like that. And we just follow the other strip now. They complete the shell indoors and then head out for one of canoe building's most dust-inducing jobs. A game of touch and go so slowly. Good. A task that can inevitably oh. lead to more work. It cracked off. Yeah, <laughs> The curse of canoe building on camera. Yep, we'll have to re-glue that. That's the first time that's ever happened. Maybe if I ever get a perfect canoe, I'll be done. There's always that challenge of, I can make that a little bit better. Sort of the reason the Zaps tried to shrink their canoes in order to build their business. A lot of people that were buying our full-scale canoes weren't putting them in the water. They were putting them up in their lake homes or cabins. So we scaled things down. This is our, one of our storage facilities. <laughs> Steve and Amy now build slightly smaller models for display. They're just three-dimensional art bringing the nature in. Six to eight to 10 feet long. The hull of cedar still with your walnut and then in the center part of it, we've got aspen. That's crotch wood from, a, from an ash tree in our yard that we cut down. Small models with the same zap DNA. Yeah, we can lean up against this tree here. Then. It's a fun. While we did it? Yeah, while we did it, yeah, that's a good thing. But boat building's best part okay. comes full circle. Good side on. There we go. As the Zafs paddle away, they're all good. In their own form of outdoor art, a simple form of wood, so at home on water. Very peaceful. I love morning paddles. I'm a creative person, I think. And then I, I love canoeing. I grew up canoeing. So to combine those two things is, is special. Yeah, that's what really keeps me building canoe after canoe. Next on Made for the Outdoors. We go in the garage with Raju Lamachane's fine art. Treasured pieces made using surprising materials. You're watching Made for the Outdoors. Hey there, I'm Bill Shirk, the man about the woods. And I'm Alexa Spore. If you're a fan of Made for the Outdoors and want to know more about the show, be sure to like us on Facebook. And follow us on Instagram for cool behind the scenes looks at what we're working on. And don't forget, if you've got a show idea, be sure to drop us a note. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by 
Spire Credit Union, Moen's Mouse Mix, Polaris Industries, Warner's Dock, Game Fair. Life's colorful canvas starts outside in the garden of this Twin Cities home. The place more than one man's trash became Raju's real treasure. Just look. Maybe the banner best tells this story. <laughs> See, Raju Lamachane long ago noticed how much color came in his newspapers, specifically those Sunday ads and coupons. Raju saw potential each time the paper went to recycling. He had an idea and gave it a rip. You can control and make a straight line. Yeah, it just goes otherwise. Goes otherwise. Goes otherwise. But if you tear this side, you can control. A collage made from bits of tiny newspaper clippings. After making this one, that Mona Lisa one, I can Mona Lisa. It doesn't look like her, but tiny eyes and nose, all newspaper. There's no paint. His Mona Lisa, his first effort, and a pretty solid one at that. But Raju dreamed of more profound work. We have a lot of birds here. Based on the natural world around us here in Minnesota. And when I got out and I saw those beautiful birds and animals and so lovely, and I got in, I have to do something. I am here in Minnesota. I have to start with the Minnesota birds and animals. I'm doing only newspaper. Even I don't add any color or ink. This is our regular newspaper, what comes on our door. For the male cardinal, I love to add this color. I just put a glue by hand, and I just place it according to like this. See, I like. Raju creates these colorful and completely accurate collages out of advertisements. They have green color from Menards Red. Those reds are from Target Red. I can go a little darker color for the bottom side. Is the... His work worthy of accolades of both judges and customers. I got a couple of uh, events. I went to the farmer's market and some art sales. People requested me, can you make a dog picture of mine? Or they started sending their picture and I tried to make them and finally that worked too. It worked all right. When they see it, first they say, wow, is this real? To see and stare is to believe. And to think most see this as nothing more than trash. Sunday's paper are perfect. We put too much stuff on the recycle bin, but if we can use those, make art, it's just so perfect. A curious idea of a curious mind shaped in fine art school in Raju's native land of Nepal. He and his wife moved to Minnesota in 2005, where art keeps Raju up late when he, <laughs> no pun intended, goes on a tear. And we're, we're happy to be something doing is creative. Yeah, always family support for him. I'm all the time happy for him, <laughs> yeah. Except when this happens. <laughs> Sticky fingers, a definite downfall of this art form. We can't use the gloves, but just, and I have to rub it, and sometimes you, you finger stick like that. Not too many people could ever call Raju's work garbage. Although, technically, you'd be right. That's okay with Raju. His fine print reads, fine art.
Coming up next, a bass bait that might make you scream. Yes! Wow! Yes! Sisters create the passion and story behind SNS Bait Company. Hey there, I'm Bill Shirk, the man about the woods. And I'm Alexa Score. If you're a fan of Made for the Outdoors and want to know more about the show, be sure to like us on Facebook. And follow us on Instagram for cool behind the scenes looks at what we're working on. And don't forget, if you've got a show idea, be sure to drop us a note. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Canvas Works, Warner's Dock, L and M Fleet Supply. Paul and his buddy Bay. Together, their legend put Bemidji on the Minnesota map. These days, a new larger than life legacy might loom. That's interesting. Friends, <laughs> call her Shannon. A bait chucking <laughs> blast of straight up oh Northwoods fire. I just went straight to the energy drink. I didn't even hit coffee. Shannon lives for sunrise <laughs> on the water. What is bright and shiny this morning? Always has. <laughs> this is a story about her love of fishing. You know, it's something that you always can do. You can always grab that rod Go out and enjoy yourself. A tale that starts with her dad. Well, hate is strong. I, I don't really love it. <laughs> Gary Stannis never actually preferred fishing. I'm ready to go in the boxes. I'm not passionate about it. it looks like frog eyes, doesn't it? This music teacher spent free summer days sort of tinkering. Is that something you painted in there? He's a renaissance man. Uh, he built houses, he worked on cars. It was a honey-do list and it usually was a project plumbing, dig a hole in the septic for the septic, masonry work. I'm gonna add on to the house again. Never fun stuff for kids to be helping out with. So those projects were always so daunting and nobody wanted to do them. And so Shannon and I realized real quick, well, if we just leave dad alone, we get up and out early down at the dock and we can fish. On the water, away from dad's project, Shanna and sister Erica bonded. which now continues off the water and in their basement. We have a special bond that most sisters don't have. Erica and Shanna always built their own tackle. You know, we started out with broom handles and she'd lay those and we'd get a little shape and do a spook and, you know, mom's broom handles got shorter and shorter and shorter. About Six, seven years ago, we just realized we had tons of baits and then maybe, maybe we should make a go of it. Their lifelong hobby has suddenly become big business. SS Baits Co., which is Stennis Sisters Baits Company. Yeah, it's all about the sisters. <laughs> Always safety. Norm taught me that. <laughs> Clamp her in, lock nutter. Shanna starts by shaping all the wood. I'm gonna rip her down to round right away. I'm gonna mark the tail. Bring all that material out. Trim it up, flatten it out. Sand her up again. Perfect. And there's a mini mouth. Erica now colors with the eyes of an artist. I'm trying to throw something different out there with my painting, something impressionistic, something new. I had no idea that at 42 years old I would get to play with feathers and glitter on an almost daily basis and paint. For me, it's that constant challenge of coming up with something new for the fishermen and for the fish. The end result worthy of the front case at the local bait shop. Perfection in the form of raw fishing lore. An obsession. <laughs> it is an addiction, it is. Just like the fishing part. Oh, there's nothing better than to catch that fish. This is the fire tiger wide mouth popper. Full chicken dinner. And when we get one on it, it will be a winner winner. <laughs> you know, and just knowing that you built that fish getter. <laughs> Fish getters they are. Ooh. Just watch. Oh, yes! The addiction yes. of building baits. Yes. 
best express wow! in this moment. Yes. It is the lure of SNS baits. Got that on that slim mouth spook. Built by sisters. It's that exciting just <gasps> with the most proper. Mine's bigger. Popper Ooh. attitude. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs>